and this is the keyword we searched in the previous video guys this keywords is low competition and exact phrase suggesting in google suggests let's try to brainstorming this keyword guys in our new blog posts copy this Control c paste and let's starting brainstorming the title guys let's try to remove this how to spend now the title is four days visiting hong kong on a budget this is the exact phrase guys comes from google suggests i think the grammar is wrong let's try to correct this now the title is visiting four days in hong kong on a budget now the keyword is include by word not an exact phrase but this is fine guys as long as the grammar is correct you can include a keyword in exact phrase on the title as long as the grammar is correct so the title is good visiting four days in hong kong on a budget let's uppercase the important words now the title is done let's proceed to content oop i forgot this and let's start in content let's try this include by word visiting four days in hong kong on a budget now the budget the hong kong word are included in the content guys this is the example content guys you can include this keyword in the whole content make sure the content guys has a sense to the readers and another keyword hong kong budget trip blog let's try to include this by word blog journey hong kong trip guys this is an example guys you can include the keyword by word in the whole content let's add the internal linking and external linking to the posts highlight this link and copy this link this is called external linking because this link is outside your blog web address don't check this guys this is fine this wikipedia is a trusted website there's no need to add the real no follow attribute and make sure the external link is open in a new window this is for external link outside on your blog and uh, internal linking is inside your blog the url inside your blog site let's try this internal linking let's visit the blog site Oop. view blog copy this hong kong copy the link and we highlighted this hong kong and uncheck this guys this is uh inside in your blog url there's no need to open in a new window okay guys about external linking in internal linking make sure the word is relevant to the page of the link and let me show you the real example of internal linking and external linking to the blog content and this example in shoutmeloud.com let's scroll down the content this is the internal linking guys as you see in the bottom left on the screen there have a link but the link is the link itself in the shoutmeloud.com this is internal linking let's find the external linking 
And as you see, this is the external linking because the link is outside from the shoutmelow.com. And this is new open window. Let's click this. So the link is new window. If we click the internal linking, this we will not open in a new window. It goes the page itself in the shoutmelow.com. Let's try to click this. So as you see, the link is not open in a new window. You can add internal linking and external linking in your content by 100 word. Next, the H tags and you will content. We make this post looks nice. Subheading, I believe this is H3. So let's turn to HTML tab and let's check this H tag day one. Day one. Yes, H3, the open H3 and the close H3. So compose subheading. minor heading h4 and this is the h3 h3 subheading h3 and uh, if your content has a uh, listed like this you can turn this into bullet list or numbered lists but I think this is for bullet lists some spaces here spaces remove some spaces oh control Z to undo next guys is the images before we upload the images and the content we need to optimize the image file name copy this title blog this is the images guys this is the primary image let's rename this to the blog title make sure small caps and dashes space not underscore and as you see the primary image file name is edited to blog post title and I also edited to this image title har junk boat stroll to ping shan and everything let's upload this to the content upload select all and let's cancel this for now let's add the primary image first let's image and add selected let's choose the extra large and left let's add a title tag close this first copy this copy the blog title and properties title tag and alt text click ok and let's add to this day one museum extra large and left copy this edit properties title text and alt text okay and let's add a caption guys 
if you want a caption in your images, copy this. This is the image caption on this image. Copy, paste the dental pad to remove the HTML string. Copy again. Click and add caption and remove this, the image caption. And uh, all images are added to the content. Let's view this to the live guys. Publish for now. Cancel this. Let's view the new post. And as you see guys, the posts are looks good. The primary image. As you see, if we point the mouse in the image, the title of the image pops in from the image. That's the title tag. Title tag, and this is the caption of this image. This content, guys, is look better than before. The primary image. And let's back to edit. The last two tasks, guys, in this content is the search description and the permalink. Let's add a search description. I already have a search description, guys, in this post. Let's copy the search description. Copy. And let's check the keyword. Visiting is here. Hong Kong on the budget is here. This is the keyword from the post title and this keyword are included to the content. We find a cheap hotel and great food in Kowloon, blah, blah, blah. About the search description, guys, make sure the characters is between 150 to 160. Let's check the characters on this search description, guys. Copy this. Let's find in Google. Meta Description Lens Checker. Click this. Let's paste between 156 to 160 is fine. And the uh, description is the 155 characters. So this is good. And as you see to this result, this is the search description. And let's back to done. And let's check the permalink, guys. Make sure the permalink is the same to the post title. Visiting four days in Hong Kong on a budget. This is fine, guys. You can edit this permalink if you did not publish yet the post. But in this case, I publish it. And I can't edit it because I already published this post. I forgot something guys in the content, the bold in italic. Let's find a important word in this post. Let's make this post look better. Bold the uh, important word, control B. Admission is free, bold the uh, important word or italic, Kowloon Don't make your content boring guys, use bold, italic, heading, and numbered list or bullet list. bold
I guess this is fine guys as long as the content have a bold or italic and lastly in the content guys make sure your content has a uh, more than 300 characters don't get short let's update and let's visit the live new content the primary image the content have a uh, bold the heading tag the images with title tag and alt tag in the caption and let's check the meta description view page source meta description control f in the keyboard meta this this is the search description visiting four days in hong kong and I forgot something guys, the label, the Hong Kong, this post is belong to the Hong Kong category, done and update, and let's reload, let's recap guys, we finalize this, this post is helps to reduce the bounce rate of the posts, the breadcrumb, the primary image, the eye catchy sidebar, popular posts, categories, blog archive, and uh, related posts must have in the content. And the last important is the page speed. We have one last task guys. We need to add the meta description on the general pages on this blog. This search description is for this page only or this blog post only we need to add a general page description i have uh, already description update and go to settings search preferences edit paste the general search description this description will appear on every page in your blog in the home page contact page and category page save changes and let's try to check that home page view source and control f find the description as you see, this is the description we input in the search preferences.